In today's video, I'll be showing you the most effective yet affordable method for turning YouTube videos into engaging blog posts. So there's a couple of different ways in which you can do this. The first and free method is by using the Vox script plugin on GPT-4. You need to have a GPT plus account. Then copy any YouTube video in which you would like to turn into a blog post. We're going to paste that into ChatGPT. So I've pasted in that URL and I've asked AI to read and extract the main information from this YouTube video. Be as in depth as possible, write an engaging blog post and always write in markdown and include list and tables. So let's go ahead and run this and the Vox script plugin should work. It should be able to read that content from the YouTube video and then write us a blog post. But as you can see here, we are able to get a pretty decent output. So increase your website domain authority with ChatGPT, key strategies, identifying suitable websites for backlinking. So it's going over all of the strategies and all of the things in which we included within that YouTube video. So you are still able to get a pretty decent output using the plugin mode on ChatGPT. As it's continuing to write the content, we can see here that it's fetching the content chunk by chunk. So it's reading the transcript in part rather than a full transcript and then giving us or, or converting that transcript into a blog post. So I'm actually very impressed by this output. It's a lot longer than I thought that it would be. And it's definitely um, been able to extract the main tenets of that YouTube video and transcribe it into a engaging blog post. So this would definitely be the most affordable way for you to turn YouTube videos into blog posts. So let's go over this quickly again. So the content has completed and here is the output. Increase your website domain authority with ChatGPT, key strategies, identifying suitable websites for backlinking, guest posting, guest posting again, tailoring your content, submitting your guest posts, generating high quality blog post topics, approaching websites for guest posting and extracting writing style, writing your guest post and so on. Overall, it's done a pretty good job at extracting the main components of this YouTube video. We are able to understand what the YouTube video is about and it's able to extract the main points and put it into a blog post. Now, the second method to turning YouTube videos into engaging blog posts is by copying over the transcript and I am using a plugin, it's called GLASP. So this allows you to get a YouTube summary or you can just copy over the full um, transcript in plain text. So once you copy over the transcript, head over to the playground mode. And we're going to paste the transcript into the system. Now you can use GPT 3.5, but as you know, the token length is a little bit smaller. So you have a lot more room to play with and you get, you're able to write a much more engaging article using GPT 4. So once we've pasted in the transcript, now let's go ahead and generate an outline based upon that transcript. I've decreased the temperature just a tad, increased the frequency penalty and the presence penalty. And the prompt that I'm using is based on this YouTube transcript to create an in-depth and engaging blog post outline write in Markdown and be as exhaustive as possible and include all of the info from the YouTube script. Create the outline first because sometimes it just goes ahead and writes the whole article. So as you can see here, we have a nice outline. The reason why I like to generate an outline first is because it's able to guide the AI in a more um, concise manner. So everything kind of makes sense. You can skip generating an outline and just generate the full article. But sometimes again, I find you're able to get much better outputs when you generate the outline first and then the full article. So here's the outline in which we get back intro, identifying high quality and relevant websites, examples of websites for backlinking, finding websites that allow guest posting, submitting guest posts, generating blog post ideas, adapting the writing style of target websites and write an engaging blog post with ChatGPT and a conclusion. So we can see a difference right here between this outline than the first outline that we generated because this just seems more, um, more aligned with what the YouTube video was about. And um, it, we're able to get much more better sub points for those specific um, outlines compared to just the content that we got back from um, the ChatGPT plugin. So let's go ahead and generate the full article. It did start writing the article, but I stopped it because I want to give it a new prompt to write the full article. So the prompt is now using the outline above and the transcript provided write a full in-depth article on the blog post topic. Be as in-depth as possible, write useful and long and relevant paragraphs and always include tables and lists and always write in markdown. So as we can see here, the content is starting to write. It's writing a nice list. It's following that outline and it seems like it's going in the right direction. So once it's finished, we'll come back, we'll check it out and we'll compare this output to the original output that we got from using the Fox script plugin. The full article has finished uh, generating. So let's go ahead and do a quick word count. So this is about 700 words. The content that we got back from Vox script was a lot longer. This is about 1500 words. Again, very impressed by the output length that we're able to get back 
using Vox script, especially uh, without having to do any further prompting. We just asked it one time to create a YouTube video um, blog post for us and it was able to do so. So in terms of length, I would definitely go with the Vox script um, plugin. But in terms of quality, if you really take a look at this and read through the content, we can see that um, we're able to get different websites that we listed within that video. We're able to get more in-depth information from that YouTube video in this blog post compared to what we we're able to get back from Vox script. While using the playground mode, the content is a lot shorter, but of course we have the ability to expand it, but that would cost us some tokens because you have a lot of content within the transcript. So let's go ahead and quickly take a look to see how much this blog post costed us. So this article in the playground mode costed us about 18 cents. And if you probably were to expand it, that could be 20 to 25 cents just for that article. So that can be a little bit more expensive when we look at the other um, models, especially GPT 3.5. So it is a little bit more costly when using the playground mode and the content is a little bit shorter, but the quality in my opinion is a little bit better. But I gotta say, I'm very impressed by the content quality and the content length that we got back from Vox Strip. So while my favorite method used to be the playground mode, I'll have to test this a little bit more to see if Vox Script allows us to get better content cheaper and the content is longer and we're still able to keep the essence of that YouTube video when transferring it over into a blog post. I'll leave a link for both of these articles that were generated in the description below this video. You can read them for yourselves and figure out which one you like the best. But these are my two favorite methods to use if you like to turn YouTube videos into engaging blog posts. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope that you learned something new. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.